This is the new TC Pride Podcast, Episode 50, part one of on-location coverage of Earth Day with Gay for Good in Loring Park. TC Pride Podcast, we're on location in Loring Park. It's Earth Day, and we're here for Gay for Good's annual Earth Day cleanup, and I'm here with Scott Mickish. I'm a board member on the Twin Cities chapter of Gay for Good. Well, it was started in California um, around the time that the Prop 8 um, initiative was being um, debated, and it was an effort to get beyond politics and really expose people to the LGBTQ community in a positive way um, to really mobilize our community and allied community to do good um, for their um, for other nonprofits, for other initiatives, um, and again, beyond beyond the politics, to really present ourselves um, in a positive and empowered way. This is our third Earth Day. We started on Earth Day two years ago, um, and our Twin Cities chapter was founded by Beth Mejia and uh, Craig Schumann. Um, both are past volunteers and friends of mine as well, so they asked me to join the board. Um, we have done raking. Um, for seniors in North Minneapolis. We've served food at um, various shelters in the community. Um, We are volunteering with um, uh, an effort to raise awareness about uh, brain and spinal cord tumors um, in uh, May. Um, We've also um, done uh, books for Africa, packed up books that are being shipped overseas. uh, feed my starving children. Um, we did some packing um, of the food products there. So the list goes on. We do monthly events, and we're always trying to find another nonprofit, both to support but also to expose our community to that people might be interested in and maybe want to support on their own as well. Yeah, it sounds like you do a wide variety of things. So people that are community-minded, they'll, they'll find something that that appeals to them. Yes, we're always trying to find. Um, kind of diverse activities and things that people can mainly show up to. Um, I run a nonprofit called Art Buddies, and we had a Gay for Good group come out and uh, help organize our art supplies that we use with the kids as well. So it's a variety of activities. Um, No specific skill set is needed. You just show up and want to do good, really. Uh, Gay for Good is really a a catalyst and a conduit into these other nonprofit areas. So if you're thinking of volunteering, you're not sure what to do, it's a, it's a fun way to um, be part of a group and be part of an effort that um, allows you to take part without a lot of effort on your part, that you just show up, we provide the activity. Um, and if you find us on Facebook, um, our social media, we're always posting kind of what our next event will be. But it's a really easy and, and social way to get involved um, and to give back and volunteer and, and also just create a a better image and a positive image for our community and the greater community. Like I said, we will be um, helping with um, an event geared at raising awareness around um, uh, brain and and spinal cord tumors in May. It's called Walk Talk Connect. So we'll be there helping walkers along the way. Um, We also will be at uh, Twin Cities Pride in June and uh, I think we're partnering with Pride to help uh, with vendor check-in. So if you happen to be a vendor at Pride this year, um, you'll likely be encountering a Gay for Good volunteer who will help you along the way. Well, great. I'll see you there. Thanks so much yeah, for your awesome. time and uh, good luck with uh, with everything you're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Courtney and I'm from Minneapolis. A uh, big reason why I think volunteering is very important, especially cleaning up our parks, is to keep them clean for the next generation. So I grew up going to different parks in the city, and it's always been a really big part of why I love Minneapolis, why I've moved back to Minneapolis a few times from going to other states. And we have a really great park system here, and I want to be part of keeping it clean and really not just talking the talk, but actually walking the walk as well. Absolutely. And, you know, of course, Earth Day is, you know, one day a year. But uh, why, why is it important, in your opinion, that, that everybody does their part to take care of the Earth, not just today, but, but all year long? I think that if we aren't keeping up on it, it gets, you know, gross. You look around the streets after the snow, you know, is done melting and you look around most our parks, most our streets, especially in the city, uh, and there's a lot of garbage. And my big thing when people say, oh, well, I'm giving city workers jobs. I go, well, you're also wrecking the earth. So let's talk about, you know, how, you know, we have plastic that goes into our water and all of that. It all goes into that. And I think that by keeping up on it, making sure we're calling people out when we see them doing things that are not good for the earth. uh, They may say we're strongly opinionated, but it's better for the earth in the long run. And I think that's what's really important. Thanks so much for coming out to volunteer today. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks, Ryan.
Steve, I'm from South Minneapolis. Well, I think it's all of our responsibility to try to make this a, a better place for everyone to live in and for the future generations of kids and, and any life out there to, to be able to be healthy. Just want to do something nice for other people. It's always nice to give back because I think a lot of times we get so self-involved with our lives that you don't really do things for other people and it does feel good. And it's such a beautiful day to get out today too that it's, <laughs> I almost feel like I'm getting more out of this than, than I'm giving. <laughs> Janelle, I'm from downtown Minneapolis. Uh, Zoe, I'm from Loring Park. We have a group of people that really care about cleaning up the earth and we got together just to make an impact today. You know, I feel like it's one of those things that outlasts the time that we spend on Earth here. We can make a big difference, not just for our own short-term lives, but for a long time. And uh, who's, who's your, uh, your little volunteer here? Oh yeah, this is Carson. And uh, he's here to pick up all the sticks. <laughs> yeah, so I think, you know, if, as I think about um, our children in the future, um, they need to learn how to take care of the Earth from early days and understand the importance of maintaining um, and sustaining the environment. I'm Joseph. I'm from University of St. Thomas. Where we, we came from is this is the only planet that we can live in and if we destroy it we, we'll, we'll, we'll be suffering. We only have one Earth, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for volunteering today. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Amy and I'm from Minneapolis. Uh, I'm here with uh, some of my coworkers from Apple. I think uh, we have a really big commitment to our communities. Um, and I personally have that big commitment and I work with a lot of really great people who have that same commitment. And so Earth Day is a great opportunity for us to show the love that we have for our city, which is super unique uh, with all these beautiful parks. So. Well, thank you very much for your time and um, thanks for volunteering today. Of course, thank you. TC Pride Podcast, we're on location at Loring Park for Gay for Good's annual Loring Park Earth Day cleanup. And I'm here with one of our volunteers, one of our very committed volu- <laughs> one of our very committed volunteers. Uh, maybe uh, you can kind of tell folks what you're up to right now. Yeah, I'm at the water's edge, um, and it seems like there's a lot of trash along the water's edge, and I'm picking it up just to beautify the park. And, uh, and what, what's your name and where are you from, sir? I'm, I'm Brian Garrett, and I am from Missouri, but I just moved back here from Scotland, so I'm new to the area. Oh, well, uh, well, welcome to the Twin Cities. So, uh, so how, how did you find out about the event today, and uh, you know why, why was it so important for you to come out? Uh, I, I found out about the event um, on Facebook, and I saw the group Gay for Good, and I thought it seemed like a great group to join. So I'm here today to pick up trash. Ah, well, I think as humans we belong to the Earth, and I think things have gotten a little out of whack. The human population is quite large, and the amount of green space is quite small. So it's very precious, and we need to maintain it. Uh, I think I've traveled a lot throughout the world. And in my life, I have a lot. So I think I have the resources to give back, so I should. Well, thank you very much for volunteering. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. My name's Don, and uh, we're here with uh, Hilton from uh, downtown Minneapolis, the Embassy Suites and the Doubletree Suites. Well, I think we've got a great city here, and, uh, you know, it's going from one season to the next, and it's time to clean up so we can all go out and enjoy the the great weather that we're going to have. So it's important that we keep up with it. Well, I think that uh, it's a big part of not just uh, Hilton's vision, but even the vision that we have at the hotel that um, we get a lot out of the community. So we got to give it back to the community um, so that we can continue to strive and, and grow and move forward. Well, thanks for volunteering today. I'll let you get back to work. Appreciate it. Thanks. Enjoy the nice day. Uh, Francesca, Los Angeles, California, now in Minneapolis. Well, my boyfriend actually forwarded me an email for Earth Day here because he knows I'm really big on on the earth and recycling and all of those things. So I just looked up uh, on the website, you know, the different locations and we literally live like five minute walk from here. And we come to this park all the time. So it was like the perfect opportunity to give back to the earth. Great. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're you're big into the earth because that kind of leads us to, to our next question, which is why is it so important for people to take care of the earth? Um, not just on Earth Day, obviously, but like, but every day. For me, I mean, I'm, I'm a world traveler. I love to travel. I love to see new places and experience beautiful destinations. And just the way that we've seen things with climate change and just the way that the Minnesota winters have changed here. I mean, I thought it was cold, but Minnesotans are telling me it was super mild. And so for me, it's just the Mother Earth gives to us so much and, you know, doesn't ask for anything in return. And it's the least that we can do to make an effort and do our own part. Um, It's been instilled in me since I was a kid. I was volunteering for all kinds of things with Earth Day, even when I was a child. And, you know, it's something that my parents instilled in me and they really showed me the value of of giving back because I I, I know I have so many gifts to offer the world. 
and to other people and to touch other people's lives and to make a difference. And really um, doing these things inspires other people to do the same. Uh, my name is Aaron Minkema. I am here with Best Buy uh, trying to help out Gay for Good. And it looks like uh, you and your colleagues are, are hard at work here. Um, why is it so important to Best Buy to uh, make sure that, that we're taking care of Earth? Because we're a technology company, we want to make sure that we are uh, supporting, uh, making sure that we are doing renewable things that help uh, our world um, and help make a cleaner Earth. Volunteering is a way to give back to the community or give back to the Earth, and it's a way to, to participate in something fun with your friends while making a difference. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Colleen Case. I'm here from Minneapolis. <laughs> My name is Carmen Anderson. I'm also from Minneapolis. Well, we actually uh, came here today with our school, St. Thomas School of Law, just to participate in the cleanup and uh, just to get in some service hours and to help out on Earth Day. So we've been in school for one year and they, you know, they do a ton of volunteer work over the course of the school year and even in the summer. So. And, and how's it going uh, so far? It's a beautiful day, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's perfect. It's actually getting kind of hot out, but um, yeah, it's been good. It, it's it's we found a lot of cigarette butts. That's probably the majority of the of the trash we found, which is kind of amazing since there's a garbage can literally one foot away from all of them. Um, but yeah. So so if you come to Loring Park, please dispose of your 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 cigarette butts appropriately, right? Exactly. Yes. And so obviously you're here because you care about the earth. I'm assuming most people are here for Earth Day because they care about the earth. Um, why is it important that everybody does their part, not just today on Earth Day, but uh, all year long to make sure we're protecting our environment? Yeah, well, I think it's important just to take care of the earth because obviously the earth take care, takes care of us. That's why we're all here today. Um, and just, I guess, little things you can do every day. Just pick up litter when you see it. And Earth Day is kind of a reminder to be good to the earth all year, even though it's only one day. I think, especially since I live about a block away from here, it's a cool thing to be able to give back to the park that I use every day. Um, so yeah, that's why I think it's important to give back to your community in the small ways and the big ways. So my name is Emerson, I'm from Peru. Hi, I'm Zuzana from Slovakia. I am I'm a visiting scholar at St. Thomas and we have an environmental law group which decided to join uh, the organizers here and help to clean up Loring Park. Ah, so part of the St. Thomas crew. I've talked to a couple of you folks today. So uh, just for people who aren't kind of familiar with it, what, what is environmental law exactly? Environmental law is a set of rules which tries to protect uh, environment and whether it is uh, ab about uh, pesticides or, or just air pollution. It covers a bright spectrum, broad spectrum of uh, stuff that uh, affects environment. Well, it is where we live. You don't lead and you don't pollute your own house, right? And uh, it is uh, environment. We have only one planet. There is no planet B, as it is said. Uh, we have this one shot <laughs> at uh, protecting our future. And uh, I don't want my children to live in a place where there are no animals, no plants, because we just destroyed it. So we need to be more assertive in this area and protect more culture, uh, protect more environment. Well, thank you very much for coming out and volunteering today. And uh, we'll let you get back to work. It looks like you're working hard, so we'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm from Minneapolis. And uh, this is uh, probably, I think, my eighth volunteering uh, this year with Gay for Good. Well, what I love about it is that it's this really inclusive group of people that are looking for the LGBTQ community as well as allies to get involved in doing good work together. And we really reach out to a lot of the local nonprofits and our goal is to, uh, to get out and have healthy communication and interactions with as many people in the community as we can. And it's something that we all do with smiles and it's usually a good laugh as well. It's something that's really fun. I, I love the community, I love the group of people and I, I love the leadership for Gay for Good. Thank you. TC Pride Podcast. We're on location at Loring Park for Gay for Good's annual Earth Day cleanup. And I'm here with one of our volunteers. Uh, what's your name and where are you from, please? Uh, my name is Jen. Um, I've lived here in Minneapolis for about two and a half years. And it looks like you got the whole crew here with you today. You got some kids. You got a, you got a puppy on a leash here. Uh, who, who are you here with today? Yeah, we've got a big Hyatt crew here. We have probably about 20 people. And me, Jane. <laughs> and me, Rex. Teaching the kids uh, to take care of the earth now is super important so that uh, it can be uh, preserved for when they're older and their children. You know, it's just teaching them about community, um, you know, especially at the Hyatt. Uh, we love our local community. You know, you have to take care of it. It's where we work and we play every day. Um, so it, it's just important to, to take care of your neighbors. Well, th thank you very much, all of you, and uh, I'll let you guys get back to work.
Yeah, it's going to be on iTunes. Why, why, uh, why are you here today? Uh, because it's Earth Day and we all have to clean up to keep the Earth clean. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Is this going to go all around the world? Yeah, yeah, it's on iTunes, so it goes all over the place. So Cool. Well, thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. The TC Pride Podcast has been a production of Podletter Media and Twin Cities Pride. Subscribe now on iTunes or Google Play and submit your first pride story at myfirstpride.org.